A piece of work can be completed by 10 men and 6 women in 18 days. Men works 9 hours per day while women works 7.5 hours per day. The per hour efficiency of a woman is two third of a man's efficiency. In how many days can 10 men and 9 women complete the work? So in general, a piece of work can be completed by 10 men and 6 women in 18 days. So I can say the work done is equal to 10 men plus uh, 6 women into 18 days. You know that work can be taken as uh, number of men into number of days or number of persons into number of days. So the total work we can say is 10 men plus 6 women working for 18 days. Then the next statement says men work 9 hours per day while women work 7.5 hours per day. So men work 9 hours a day and women work 7.5 hours a day. So the difference here is the number of hours that they spend per day are different. Usually we see that men and women or men, women, boys or children who are work are spending equal number of hours. I mean, it's not specified. So we take it for granted that they're spending equal number of hours. But here, because it is explicitly mentioned that men work for 9 hours a day, while women work for 7.5 hours a day, we'll have to change the work equation. Instead of saying 10 men into 10 men plus 6 women into 18 days, we'll say 10 men for 18 days plus 6 women for 18 days. Now again, we'll convert the days to number of hours so that it becomes easier for us. So this will be equal to 10 men for 18 days and each day they spend how many hours? 9 hours. You getting it? Similarly, 6 women for 18 days and each day they spend how many hours? 7.5 hours. So now we get the same work equation in terms of men and women working for how many hours altogether. Right? So this will be equal to what? Uh, you know, I mean, you, you can just simplify that if you want. Or you can take 18 common if, if you want that. So 90 into... 90 into 18 men hours, right? See, 10 into 9, 19, right? So 90 into 18 men hours plus 6 into 7.5. How much is 6 into 7.5? 45. 45 into 18 women hours. See, I don't want to multiply everything now itself and waste our time there, right? So instead of saying men days and women days, we have converted that, this to men hours and women hours, right? So the work can be completed by this in, in this way. Okay. Now, per hour efficiency of a woman is two third of a man's efficiency. Per hour efficiency of a woman. See, now the advantage is we have got the whole work in terms of number of hours. So you can directly replace women with men based on the uh, efficiency given here. It says per hour efficiency of a woman is two third of a man's efficiency, which means the amount of work done by a woman per hour is equal to two third of the amount of work done by a man. So you can directly replace men with women now in this case. Right? So what will be the work? The work will come out to be 90 into 18 men hours, right? Plus 45 into 18 women hours, but women is being replaced by men. So two third of men hours. Again, you can say this goes 15 times, right? 15 into 30. So what happens? This will be equal to 19 to 18 men hours plus 13 to 18. So basically 120 into 18 men hours. Right? So this is the total work. I know this looks a little lengthy, but you know, you, we are, I am writing too many steps. That's the reason. Right? But the whole idea is this. I mean, we have solved such questions. The only difference this time is the number of hours spent per day by different types of people is different. Otherwise, if it is, suppose this statement is not given. Men works for 9 hours per day and why women works for 7.5 hours per day. We can directly replace, uh, I mean, you know, efficiency. Per hour, I mean, instead of per hour efficiency, you can simply say uh, women's capacity is two-third of man's capacity. So you can directly say W equals to 2 by 3 M here itself. Right? But because of this different number of hours per day that they spend, we have to do all this drama. So basically, the total work is how much? 120 into 18 men hours. Now, it says in how many days can 10 men and 9 women complete the work? Now, this time there are 10 men and 9 women. Right? Now, how many days can 10 men and 9 women complete the work? Again, you have to assume that 10 men here will work for 9 hours a day and 9 women here will work for 7.5 hours a day. Yes or no? In how many days can 10 men and 9 women complete the work? So you have to again go with an assumption that these 10 men will work for uh, whatever, 9 hours per day and 9 women will work for 7.5 hours a day. Right? So replace that now. How do we do? You know that W equals to 120 into 18 men hours which is equal to, now 10 men work for 9 hours a day. 
so 10 men into 9 hours a day let us assume they work for d days plus 9 women now you know that 9 women can be replaced by 2 thirds of 9 men right i mean directly writing 2 thirds of men instead of saying 9 women i'm saying 9 into 2 by 3 of men they work for 7.5 hours a day into d days that number of days has to be calculated d is this looking a little complex i think so but then you know the whole idea is to convert uh, men to women right so d has to be calculated now one equation and only one unknown value solve for d what happens see this mh mh gets cancelled everywhere right this is 120 into 18 this is 10 into 9 90 and how much is this 3 into 2 6 6 into 7.5 is 45 so 90 plus 45 you getting it so d will be equal to 120 into 18 divided by how much is this 90 plus 3 into 7.5 is sorry 3 into 2 6 6 into 7.5 is uh, 45 90 plus 45 135 solve now 15 into 8 15 into 9 9 into 2 8 into 2 16 so we'll get 16 days as the answer option one